Hi, welcome this morning. I'm Donna DeVariani. I'm here to help you learn how to paint and relax while you're doing it. It's called Relax and Paint. And it's one stroke painting, simple and easy for a newbie to try. And let's get started. Okay, so we're going to use some great products. I'm going to turn this around and show you that I'm just going to work on a piece of scrapbooking paper. And I am taking my pencil and I'm just going to draw the hat that I want to do. All right. And we have a rim on the hat, something just kind of fun and springy. And then I'm going to come around and we're going to see the rim of the hat here. It comes all the way around. We have some flowers in the back, but if we just go like that, just to get that hat in there and I can put some flowers up above it. Um, it's just a fun little project. And I think you're going to like doing it with me. We're going to use a foam plate and we're going to put out some colors to help us get our hat going here. And so we're using multi-surface colors and they are made by Folk Art. And I love these. They have a sealer in them. You can put them indoors, outdoors. You can paint this on all kinds of surfaces and that will work for you um, to on metal wood, canvas, right? So I'm going to tap those and I'm going to now pick my three quarter inch flat. I'm going to wet this. This is my one stroke brushes. You can get a set of these for less than $20 and there's 10 different brushes. So got to go check them out. So one stroke.com. So I want you to see how I'm loading it back and forth, back and forth, because I'm working the paint into the brush. And then I'm going to put some floating medium because we don't use the water and that keeps it from being muddy, all right? So we put out a little bit of this gel, all right? So I'm gonna come over here just a little bit and slide over so you see this. Now I can go in here just occasionally, and this isn't a rough surface, so it's not gonna be a problem, but I'm gonna come around and fill this in, all right? And around here, and you can weave, um, a wicker hat, or you can just go for the shading of this. All right, so I'm going to come all in here, go back and forth, and get this color we want here. Okay. All right. Lots of paint, so keep lots of paint on there. I'm going to put a little bit more because I want to kind of cover that gingham that shows through. All right, then I'm going to come right along here. Get a teeny bit more medium at this point and rub that in. So I can come here and see if I come along this edge, see I went out a little bit. Okay. There's no wrong, just remember that. And you can have a white hat or I'm going to have white shading on here so it's not super dark and brown, but any color you want. But this is going to be pretty easy because this is just giving you the shape of your hat. And then we get to have fun because we're going to fill all kinds of pretty flowers in here. Back and forth. And see, it's getting the feeling a little uh, sticky. That's when you would add a little bit more medium to your brush. Just a little bit. Okay. Let me get some more and touch medium again. There we go. All right. So I'm going to decide what color I want my ribbon. As you can put any color that you would like to ribbon, guys. All right. So um, I am going to have some magenta colors. Let's turn it this way a little bit. Magenta. Um, some little yellow ochre, because if I want yellow, I need a um, more, um, a color that's not very transparent. And most yellows are transparent. So I can put yellow ochre which has got a different base and then 
uh, daffodil yellow, which is transparent. Okay, and so let's see. Oh, I want that pink color, but I don't want it super bright pink. So I'm going to put some um, keepsake rose, which is a or a pink melon, a color that isn't as bright. Okay, and <clears throat> so I'm going to come right in here with maybe some yellow ochre and this um, keepsake rose color. And I'm going to come right in this way. This is my chisel of my brush. So I'm going to chisel. I'm going to show you all kinds of pretty flowers. So don't go away. I'd love for you to see how I can help you make this happen very quick and easy. All right. And if you end up liking what I'm doing, please join my membership because we get to create a lot of different one stroke from landscapes to animals to watercolor effects, everything you can imagine. So come join. So I just grabbed a little bit of white to shade it there. I'm gonna rinse this off <clears throat> and we do need some green. So let's put some classic green. Oops, that's where the medium is. And a little bit of darker green. Let's put some sap green, all right? And then we probably have enough color <laughs> by then. All right. I think I want some blue before I do anything else. So let's, uh, this blue peacock is wonderful. So any of these colors that you might not find in your local craft store, you can always get them on onestroke.com. All right, so just to let you know. All right, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to grab the classic and the sap, maybe even some yellow. And then you could grab some white. Look at that. <laughs> and get any color you want. But let's grab some floaty medium. All right. <clears throat> and I could even come here and show you that I could get that color I want because I have these paints pretty close to each other. All right. So I'm going to come here and do a little bit of a wiggle. And I could come right back down here and pull a stem. A little bit of a wiggle here. And pull back. Pull a stem. Now you see I just keep going here to pick up more. And on Fridays, I have practice strokes. And that's for all of you who might watch this and do not know how to load the brush and do this with me, but would love to. On practice strokes, I teach you all that in short little tutorials. And I made that for all of you out there that says, ma'am, I want to do this. How do I start? And I teach you exactly how to load and how to use my tools. And I have a double loader I use which makes it easier sometimes for you to paint and then load. All that's there to show you how to use it, how to load it. Now, here's some stems on the chisel edge. These stems are going to have like flowers. They're all ready for me to add flowers to. <clears throat> and I want you to see, I can just change this by picking up some blue peacock. All right, and you can put a little bit of this blue in there. All right, a little bit of blue. And we can push and stand up. Push and stand up. And then we can pull the stems into those. All right, so I'm kind of putting all the green. You could do some of that afterwards if you want to. The leaves, but lots of times, <laughs> I like to put them up underneath. All right, and let's put one more right here. So as I start painting, we've got all that pretty green in the background. Um, I didn't put purple. I think we could use some purple because of um, the lavender that we are on, our gingham here. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get a couple of larger flowers. So I'm using my set of brushes I told you about. Um, here's a 16 flat. This one is actually 
a brush that is not included in the set, but you can order it separately. It's very inexpensive. All right, so I'm dipping into magenta and the keepsake rose color, so a muted color. And this is our 16 flat. It's not as big as a large one and not as small as a 12. All right, so I want you to see. And I'm going to come up here and over here. Now, see, that's picking up some of the blue, but I can, uh, the green, I can come in here and put more on there. I like some of it to show through, so don't get stressed if it picks up a color underneath. We do wet on wet. And the key with wet on wet is that you put a lot of paint. And because we're not using water, you can get all this beautiful shading. Okay. All right, so I'm wiggling out and wiggling back in. Okay, I can bring some of this pink up here. There we go. I'm going to come right under here and add another petal. Another one. Kind of like a bud. And then it's easy. I can just go right back over this and clean it up. There. So I am going to put a little bit of dark in here. So we can put little stamens from the middle of that flower. You see that? There we go. All right. I'm going to go down to my 12 now. Yeah. And let's come right here. I dampen, lay it on a paper towel, and then I'm ready to pick up. Okay. Well, remember I told you I kind of mix this dull yellow, which is yellow ochre, with some bright yellow. And then I could come here and get a little bit of white. Okay. So let's work in here and... Let's make a couple of strokes, keep picking up some white. Okay, so I start here, I come down. Need some white. There we go. See, this makes it where it's not so transparent. And we'll do one more in here. Look, right along there. All right, so we have that pretty yellow, and I'm hoping that this gives you a feel of some spring flowers, right? Um, I'm going to rinse this, and we can pick up a little bit of magenta with the blue peacock, and that gives you a little bit of a purple look. Okay, and then let's pick up some white. But we have violet pansy. We have all kinds of purples you can get without mixing it. All right. And I just want you to see that. All right. Let's start here at the top. And then come down, 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 down. All right. But I need a little bit more white. See, I'm just kind of dabbing those. All right. And then I'm going to come right in here. Let's put a little bit over here. So when you see this, I'm touching and pulling, touch, pull, pull downward in the direction I'm heading. All right. I can also put a teeny bit in here. All right. And if I just come in here, I'm going to wipe this off. Let's just get a little bit of blue and white. And that gives you a nice tone. That's what we were just using. So look at this. If I tap this, I'm going to tap. 
and it's hanging off. If I tap, 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 I have the white going out. All right, so it just gives you some pretty blues and a little bit in here. Okay, I can come out here again, but then I need to get more white. So see, there we go. Isn't that kind of fun? It's pretty simple, but um, it gives us some really pretty looks. I can get a little bit of this pink. And we can just dot with the corner of this brush. Tap, 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 tap. All right, and a little bit more. But then I'm going to come in here and grab a little bit of this green and pull some green up. Are you liking it? I think that you'll like how pretty this ends up being when it's all done. And see, there's simple little strokes to make this happen. And I want you to see that this is just a 12. And watch this. I'm touching it. I'm laying it down. And I slide to a point. All right. Slide. Slide. Okay. I can even get a smaller brush up here. And just come in here. And do some little teeny green leaves. Give it little green leaves. I'm gonna turn it around so I can get to them. Okay, little lines. This is a two flat. So I use a lot of flat brushes, and my set has 10 brushes. They have scruffy brushes, liner brushes, and a lot of flat brushes. Okay, and when I'm doing this little leaf, look, I like one, two, and then I repeat that, like one, two, three. And we repeat, this is a classic green here. Okay, so see, it gives you just little bits of Reliefs to make this a complete fun flower arrangement. Okay, now last thing I want to do is I can take the small scruffy that comes into the set and I can pounce right here in the middle. Okay. And then I can put a teeny bit of white pounced in, I mean yellow, excuse me, pounced in there to get a center. And that's with your scruffy brush. There's two different sizes of those in the set. And then I'm going to go here with this two script liner. It's the only time I use water on my brush to paint. All right. So I'm going to steady my finger. I'm going to touch and pull into the center of this flower. All right. And I can put a little bit in this flower. That's a, a bud peeping out. And then all I have to do at this point is come in here with some pollen. A little bit of yellow. This is daffodil yellow. And we can put a little bit on here. Okay. So how pretty is that? Looks fun on here. You can write a welcome sign or something on here. You can take and Put curls in here. This to me is a perfect little spring project. I want you to try it. Try a couple little flowers on here and look what happens. So let's do a little butterfly up here. I've got both yellow ochre and daffodil. One, that's the back wing. There's the front wing. And there's two of the bottom wings. All right. And we're going to come way up here. Like here's another one that's coming. But this is what I want to show you. Here's the head. 
right here's the head, right here's the head. So I'm going to do this over and I'm going to come to the head. All right, then I pick up a little bit more and come to the head. And then one, two. So you got to try it. You'll like it. I'm showing you how easy it is to start and how much you're going to enjoy painting and creating something. You could sell, make money. You could teach other people. We're always looking for new, new teachers. And you can make gift cards, even paint one and go have them printed. My local, local drugstore, even you put in the picture, you got to prove it's yours. <laughs> and they will print it for you. All right, so I touch and I pull back, touch and I pull back. And there's two cute little butterflies and sign your piece and I'll see you on Friday. So please watch my tutorials on Friday called Practice Strokes. I give you homework to grow and learn my technique. One Stroke Painting with Donna DeVere. There you go. Thank you guys. See you next time.